A true martial artist is the integration of the warrior and sage. He's a man of peace, but he has the ability to destroy. As it is said, the sensei never dies. So even though these people are not with us anymore, their work will be remembered forever. Bruce Lee We'll start our list of superhumans with little dragon Bruce Lee. He was born in San Francisco, but grew up in Hong Kong. Meets with the entertainment industry at an early age, and for his first appearances, he was cast as a street urchin or juvenile delinquent. As a young boy, he found himself in a really bad environment. As he took up with local gangs, he started learning kung fu to defend himself better. It was around 1964 when he opened his first martial arts school in the States, where he developed his own technique named Jeet Kune Do, a mix of ancient kung fu, boxing, fencing, and philosophy. Quote, Do not pray to have an easy life. Pray for the strength to endure a difficult one. This is his quote. And yes, he didn't have an easy life. His life was a circle of training, hard work, blood, and sweat. He died under mysterious circumstances, an allergic reaction to a headache medication. Ip Man In the first half of the 20th century, in the village of Foshan, China, lived a man known as Master Ip, or Ip Man. He was a martial arts grandmaster best known for teaching the Wing Chun. And you know what? Kung Fu master and icon Bruce Lee was one of his students. But as he would say, quote, There is no difference in who started to study first. The one who achieves accomplishment is first. He was a martial artist of the highest order and created martial arts as we know it today. The Ip Man movies are based on events in Ip's life that supposedly took place during the Sino-Japanese War. The movies are extremely popular to this day, and the star playing the Grand Master is Donnie Yen. He died from complications of cancer in 1972, but his legacy will stay forever. Mr. Miyagi. Daniel-san, you remember the lesson about balance? Nariyoshi Miyagi, or known as Mr. Miyagi, is a fictional character, karate master, and sensei to both Daniel LaRusso and Julie Pierce. He wasn't just a martial arts teacher, he used to give his students life lessons. He taught them self-control and guided them through difficult times in their life. The students who followed his lessons became honorable people, and his lessons were very simple. Quote, we make sacred pact. I promise teach karate to you. You promise learn. I say, you do. No questions. The star of the Karate Kid movies playing the karate master was Noriyuki Pat Morita. He was an American actor and comedian known for his roles as Captain Sam Pak on the sitcom MASH, Matsuo Arnold Takahashi on Happy Days, and many others. Mr. Miyagi died on November 15th, 2011 at the age of 86, leaving a legacy that nobody could ever reach. Jim Kelly Quote, Make a difference today for someone who's fighting for their tomorrow. Once said by the great Jim Kelly. Kelly was an American martial artist, actor, athlete, and the most popular African-American face in the martial arts movies of Hollywood. He truly was the guy that broke down the color barrier. Born in Kentucky, he grew up competing in a variety of sports, including basketball and American football, but he will be remembered for his impact on karate. Back in 1971, he won the world middleweight karate title, and after that, he appeared in various action movies within the blaxploitation and martial arts genres. He had leading roles in Three the Hard Way as Mr. Keys, and as the title character in Black Belt Jones in 1974 but he was also Bruce Lee's opponent in the very popular Enter the Dragon. Roy Chow He was born in Shanghai in 1927, but he didn't spend his whole life there. During the Korean War, he went to Taiwan. Soon after, he joined the U.S. Army, and since he was fluent in Cantonese, Mandarin, Japanese, Shanghainese, and English, he was an interpreter and broadcaster for the Army. His screen debut was in the movie The Fresh Peony back in 1956, where he was recognized as one of the top leading men in Mandarin cinema. After that, Chow appeared in the 1973 Bruce Lee movie Enter the Dragon, the 1988 Jean-Claude Van Damme movie Bloodsport, and the 1978 version of Lee's Game of Death. Roy Chow passed away from a heart attack in 1999. One of the greatest gifts of the martial arts is that they ultimately guide us to new levels of spirituality. 
the legends mentioned before, left a legacy that could never be forgotten. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts on their movies? Do you think that the action movies today could be compared to these action classics? Who's your favorite martial art actor? If you like the video, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss our next videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time!